Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will show you step by step how I edited this limited edition strawberry smoothie chocolate photo. If you're excited, give it a like, subscribe and let's get started. First I'm gonna open the main photo in Photoshop. Alright, now I'll go back in Lightroom and select the images of the chocolate pieces and open them all in Photoshop as layers. Now I will choose the quick selection tool to easily and quickly cut out the pieces of chocolate. I love this tool, it's so handy. Add layer via copy. Next I will grab this layer and move it on the main photo. Then I'll go back, uncheck the layers I'm done working with just to make it easier and select the next one and do the same. Cut out the piece of chocolate, layer via copy and drag this layer onto the main photo and so on until I finish with all of them. I will have to resize them because they are too big. I think like this, they should be fine. Now I want to brighten this one and make sure you hit the check mark before otherwise you won't be able to make changes. Go to image, adjustments, brightness, contrast and let's see. Perfect. I will do the same for the other piece as well. Good. Let's see how to arrange them. I think I will delete this one. Four pieces are enough. Awesome! Now, making sure I'm on the background layer, using the rectangular marquee tool, select this area, choose Fill, Content Aware, and let the magic happen. I will do the same here too. Ctrl D to deselect. Now with the healing tool I will remove the little spots I'm thinking hmm, should I leave my hand there or should I remove it? I want this picture to be creative and interesting so I think I will remove it. I will select it with the lasso tool and use the same method fill content aware Ctrl D to deselect and with the spot healing brush tool I will fix this corner. Great! Down at the left corner I have to fix this spot. Oh, I love this! Last thing to do in Photoshop is to zoom in and with the spot healing brush tool again remove the spots I don't want in the picture. Then I'll save it as a TIFF file and it will automatically save the changes to the photo in Lightroom. In Lightroom go to develop and first thing I want to do is to see if any of my presets would look good on the photo. Ok, first let's see what I can bring out of it. I will bring up the exposure, the contrast, the highlights down, shadows up, whites up 
and the highlight a bit lower, darks down. A little bit of texture, clarity, dehaze and vibrance. I won't go crazy with all this. Now, at the tone curve, I like to see what looks best on my photo. So I usually take my time here. Add the colors as well. I will give a little more saturation to the blues. The red I want more to the red than to the orange, so I will slide the hue to the left, lower the luminance and bring up the saturation a bit. The oranges I want more red, so I just like to take my time and see what will work for my photo. I will have to lower the highlights and bring up the shadows. Great! Now using the brush tool I select texture and brush over the areas I want the texture of the subject more enhanced. I will zoom in so you can see better. Basically everywhere but on the background. Now hit the brush button again to apply the changes and again to choose another setting. I have to lower the highlights at the chocolate pieces. Oh, that's better. And now Clarity, my favorite brush. Here's the before and the after. Press the Y key to see this. Love it! It's more vibrant, more defined. Last thing to do is to crop it. I will post it on Instagram so I need 4x5. And there, now I can export it. Ok, let's choose a preset as well. Going back to the original photo. And let's see. Oh, I love this one. Not much of a difference, as you can see. The background is bluish, which I like. Ok, let's work with this one. I will do minor changes, just brush over for clarity and if you check this little box here, it will show you where you brush over. Now texture. Highlights. Crop it. Oh, I love the clarity, the colors. I think these need more texture and sharpness. And I will also go to sharpening and holding down the ALT key I will drag the masking slider. White indicates the area where my picture will be sharpened. I only need the edges. Ok, I think we're done. So here is the final image. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, follow me on Instagram for more creative photos and I will see you very soon. Take care, bye!